This episode of Cognitive Dissonance is brought to you by our patrons. You fucking rock. Be advised that this show is not for children, the faint of heart, or the easily offended. The explicit tag is there for a reason. Hey everyone, welcome to the last episode of uh, 2019, well, 2019, I guess it's the first episode of 2020 when it comes out. Uh, So this is the uh, year in review, it's the best of the best and also more best clips from the year, 2019. Uh, We went through all the episodes and found the best stuff, so uh, we hope you enjoy it. Well, let's, without further ado, let's go. Yeah. This clip comes from episode 453, Hamburgers, released on January 21st. Yeah, the application says that the school believes marriage unites one man and one woman. And that a what wife- is it, like a three-stage rocket? Like, what is, <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> I mean, the marriage- oh, uh, oh, shit. And it says that the wife is commanded to submit to her husband as the church- Submits to Christ. <laughs> Jesus. The, 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 uh, this is the this is the vice president's wife. So you get like it is reasonable to think that he shares these views. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah. all of the available evidence about him is that he shares these views. Yeah, I'm not shocked at all that she's part of something like this. This is this is the the most egregiously narrow-minded view of Christianity possible. Yeah. And we are one hamburger away. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look out for the hamburger. <laughs> rabble, rabble. <laughs> there's there's, there's a hilarious meme this week that showed him standing with all the hamburgers <laughs> and he's in the hamburglar outfit and it says, Don't worry, I got Taco Bell to pay for it all. <laughs> Jesus, you saw all the fucking hamburglers though that he had on the the table, right? Oh, all I the did. Different yeah, Big I Macs did. And whatnot. Yeah, it's so funny. The first comment I saw about that. Um, this is where I'm going to refresh everybody's memory here. This is uh, Trump. This week had uh, posted a photo of him hosting the Clemson kids who just beat Alabama in the college footballs, and uh, he was hosting. I think it was Clemson um, at the at the White House, but there's a shutdown, <laughs> so they. They didn't have people to prepare the food. And so he bought a bunch of ham, what he called hamburgers, <laughs> which I misspelled hamburgers. And he, and he has a bunch of those and, and hot coffee. And, yeah, and he, he had them. He had them all on a table on a silver platter with candles. And uh, he had a bunch of hamburgers and a bunch of Wendy's stuff, Big Macs, whatnot. And, uh, and so he served the Clemson kids fast food because we didn't have a shutdown. But the first comment I saw, which was fucking hilarious, was, oh, yeah, I have no idea where the president who owns a hotel down the street could possibly get this catered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I like, too, that, like, a couple of things. He bragged about using his own money right. for that. And yeah. it's like, yeah, but you were also bragging about being a billionaire. Right, right. You have billions yeah. of dollars. You're yeah. bragging about, like, I sprung off the dollar menu for yeah, these kids. I know, yeah. It's a couple thousand bucks. Yeah. Big fucking yeah. deal. It's a couple, you know what I mean? For the like, president, that shouldn't be a lot. A couple thousand bucks. For a billionaire? All of your federal employees are going without that th- couple thousand no, dollars right, right now. Yeah, literally, so, who cares? Yeah. Like, it's not even... It's yeah. so, like, measured against the wealth he claims to have, it's not even generous. I know. Right. It doesn't right. even count as You generosity. should tip that to the doorman every time right. you leave a building. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and then, like, he also tweeted something like, Rather than have the first and second lady make these kids a bunch of salads, I bought them these hamburgers. <laughs> hamburger it's like, grillers. It's like, it's like, you know, like women don't just make salads. <laughs> like they'll get you a sandwich too. <laughs> it was so sexist uh, oh though. It was gosh. so funny. It's it like so bad. And like the, the idea is like, these are a bunch of high school, like, like not high school, but like a bunch of like college, college athletes. Yeah. They're not going to want to eat a salad. And it's like, well, okay, well then 
make them something else. They're also, you know, they're also athletes. These are kids who are paying attention to what they eat. They probably have a they probably have a team nutritionist. Right. You know what I mean? Like they don't want a fucking Big Mac. Right. They probably don't want it. Nor can they use it. I know their season's over now, so maybe it's a big cheat day, but still. Can you imagine blowing cheat day on cold Big, big Macs, Macs that no. have been... Because, like, all that food is cold, yeah. too. Like, enjoy your cold, shitty French fries from a garbage restaurant. And you know what's funny? <laughs> what's hilarious about this is you look at how it looks, and it's it's the president is standing there, big smile on his face, and you have a bunch of hamburgers... <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop saying it. It's, it's so the best. Funny. A bunch of these all wrapped up all really nicely and they're on a silver platter. And it reminds me of the comment, whoever made it, I don't remember who, that Trump is a poor man's version of a rich man. Yes. Trump is yeah. a weak man's version of a strong man. He's a dumb person's version of a smart man. And you see this in him. When you see this, you're just like, it's so fucking white trash. Yes. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah. Here's one from episode 454, Magnum Opus, released on January 28th. The box shirt is the shirt that you buy when you're ashamed of everything that you have inside your body. So America. So if maybe, you're American, guys, if you're American, you should go to our website and buy the box shirt now. I'm just saying I've seen the audience. I met a lot of you guys. You see, like the one guy Box who's got this, he's got the triple X, and it's literally a sale for a pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. The thing's so huge. The, what, the, the biggest shirt before I lost weight, I was I was rocking a regular double X all the time. I was a, sure. I was a double X. Yeah. I'm a double X myself. All the time. Yeah, I'm a double X myself. And like I no, would not take a, oh no, I'm not a I'm a single X. Yeah, I'm a single I, X. Yeah. I would take my my double X. And I put my arms in and I kind of go pato, 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 and kind of give it a little stretch, you know, a little stretchy stretch. Because I was ashamed to buy a triple X, but maybe the double X but could give needed, a little. You, you know? needed a triple. I like a I like a loose shirt. You like when, a loose, the, you know. Well, when yeah. Moves, when you the thing is, is the moves should I was carry lactating it. at the time. They should carry you know? it over the rest of it, <laughs> and it should flow. <laughs> should flow from the moves. Right. Yeah. Right. I I rock a single X, and it's because of my height. Yeah, you're a million feet tall. Like I can't do it because of like like what I love is uh one of those when they when they actually have tall shirts. I love tall shirts when they sell like that's so funny because I, I buy <laughs> like when I buy like a suit jacket or whatever, it's like a 44 or 45 S like shirt, yes. like the stumpy T Rex <laughs> arms. For, I'll take a 44 stumpy. What do you have? <laughs> otherwise, it's like I put it on, it's like you're putting on your dad's clothes, like the sleeves like come out to like your fucking thumb. I'll take a... Can you tailor in seven inches? Can I have a 40, 42 amputee? <laughs> one of those. I gotta, I gotta tailor it like one black dick. Like yeah. just fold in like... <laughs> Can you just like take a vest and put two Magnum condoms as the arm? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, the only time a Magnum condom would be appropriate. I can't even. Uh, my fist is swimming in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> a Magnum condom. What is a sleeping bag for? <laughs> it's like one of those wind socks on a on a fucking on one of those. Jesus Christ! It's like a weather vane with a wind sock on it, just spinning around. You would, you would uh, roll that thing. You got to invite a friend. What do you need that for? Jesus. It's like one of those, you know, like when they make those giant bubbles. <laughs> it's, like one of those things. it's like a big giant bubble. Just, you're like, what is that? I got nobody. I, I mean, like, this isn't a three legged race. Like, what are we doing? Okay. I it's got like you. the sack race. You're like jumping over. <laughs> Honey, I'm coming to get you. Both your legs are in the Magnum condom. This bit comes from episode 457. High Pythagorean Math, released on February 18th. <laughs> and he just writes back, yeah. fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I was like, all fuck right. you. All right. So this is Corey Daniel. He's going to be talking about the halftime show, which was Maroon 5, by the way. Are they still alive? And a, Or were they summoned by I, witches? I literally had no idea who they were when they came out. I was like, who is this? I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and then there was a rapper who came out and I was like, oh, this is bad too. I was like, this is... It was genuinely like it's so funny too because earlier in the week someone had posted um in sort of working their way up to it two michael jackson videos 
One of them was the first time he did the moonwalk when he did Billie Jean at like the Grammys or something, okay. right? And it's fucking amazing. Yeah. Michael Jackson does this amazing routine and then out of nowhere does the moonwalk and you're just like, wah, like yeah, it's just right. crazy, right? And then they posted his, Michael Jackson's Super Bowl when he did the Super Bowl, when he did the yeah. halftime show. And it's fucking amazing. Yeah, like I bet. It's, I it's the fucking was a crazy good show. I mean, yeah. like, I don't even really like Michael Jackson's music, but it's just top to bottom amazing, right? And I've seen a couple of these where there's been people that have done some things that you're just like, wow, that's impressive. <clears throat> these guys came out, I'm like, holy shit. I need to do something else. Like I just left a room. I was like, I don't, I don't ever want to hear these people sing a song. I don't want to see this. It's the worst. It was I, the worst. I genuinely thought Maroon Five was like, I don't even know what songs they sing. That, like they came out and they started that's singing. I'm like, like, I've literally never heard any one of, of these. those like fucking garbage bands that you forgot about, like Blues Traveler or oh Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> you just like, <laughs> you just like the Blowfish. You nobody, you, nobody you know has yeah. ever said these words. Yeah. I'm so psyched to go to the Maroon 5 concert. <laughs> and do you know why? Because you would kill that person. It's like it's like being excited for the 311 album. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it was it was so bad though. So this guy's going to talk about that particular halftime right. show. Um there was a lot of symbolism there. It was very low key though. Uh, I mean, it <laughs> says the guy with a fucking giant <laughs> like <laughs> Celestial sun behind He's him. He's got like a blown up tarot card behind him. <laughs> well, let me tell you something about symbolism. Yeah. Said the man whose backdrop is a literal symbol. <laughs> it, it was it was more of an advanced spell. Um, for starters, it wasn't over the top at first. It was, it was it was foundational, if I can use that word. I know I use it a lot, but it was truly foundational, higher magic going on. Well, it has Wait to, a minute, is it advanced, foundational, or higher magic? Well, like, these things got, don't seem like they coordinate. In order to have a very high spell, you have to have a good foundation. Okay. The All higher right. you go with the spell, that makes sense. the better the foundation. that spell into the bedrock. It's gotta be in the bedrock. Really yeah. get exactly. it. Exactly. You gotta okay. pile drive now, that shit see, down there. Now it makes sense. Pile drive it. <laughs> like they do here in the city. Here in Chicago, like... If you ever have like a high rise built near you, they have to pile drive down so deep because the ground is the shitty. Rock is a the trillion, gr ground is yeah. the ground is garbage around here. So they have to pile drive down. And so like you'll be at home and you'll think a T Rex is in the hall. It's just like <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You're looking at your water shaking and you're like, oh God, I gotta get in this weird car and drive away from a T Rex now. You had um the halftime show opens up with a spinning Pepsi logo. And uh, the, the, if, you, if you research the spinning Pepsi logo, you'll find that it contains higher uh, Pythagorean mathematics. That it was... What the fuck? The, the, a spinning Pepsi logo contains higher Pythagorean mathematics. None of... No. <laughs> just high, what, oh, Is that Pythagorean mathematics? Or is that higher Pythagorean mathematics. Doesn't even make any sense. None also, of those are words that like, you can put next to each other. Like the only thing I know Pythagoras <sighs> did was the Pythagorean theorem, which is, has to do with right triangles. Yeah, right. Like, does it have to do anything with, with globes? It doesn't have anything to do with spinning well, Pepsi like, logos. Like, like the, the lo Pepsi logo is a circle. Like yeah. there's no triangle there unless you're like, I made this circle out of triangles. <laughs> then I guess <laughs> maybe, but... You know, is, is is there a special branch of mathematics which is purely Pythagorean mathematics? Someone like, is going to email us. I know. I, I want to know that. Like, there's us. Euclidean geometry. Yeah, right. Is there? Is there Pythagorean? Yeah, maybe. And, it, and, and maybe is there higher. Maybe we're idiots. Maybe we don't know. It's right? True. Maybe yeah. we don't know. I would like someone to tell me if they are familiar with this. How the fucking Pepsi logo is a higher Pythagorean theorem or whatever he just said. <laughs> and it would be like, even if it were, it's like, well, that's, there's advanced math. Yeah. I guess if you apply mathematical principles to geometric shapes, then there is, that's always the yeah, case. It's like junior level. Because you like, can use math to you, explain the world. Like 16, you learn how to do that. But yeah, I don't, why is that magic? Design. They call it the, um, the Pepsi, um, what do they call it? Pepsi chalice. <laughs> no, it's the Pepsi chalice of blood. That's what it is. Yeah. But I said yesterday, the the um the what the Pepsi globe is what they call oh, it. Oh, the Pepsi but globe. It, it, it contains mathematics and mathematics yeah. swirling. It's it, it's 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 magic. It's sorcery, right? Wait, is what? magic is is math magic now? Hold the. If I write an equation, uh -huh. it's probably not magical. Mm. But if I put it on a lazy Susan. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you put it on a record player. You're like 33, 45, 33, 45, 33, 45. Oh my God. He's on a tilt a world. <laughs> Swirling mathematics. You get that asshole spinning plates. He's got them on sticks all around. Ooh. Oh my God. Swirling Get the fuck mathematics. out of here. What an idiot. Right. And then it goes from the big M on stage. The big M. And the M, of course, is for Masons. No, like the, M is, the M is for Maroon 5. <laughs> <laughs> the M is for any word that starts with M. There's thousands of them. You can just <laughs> so many of them. It's for Morlock or Mom, Mutton, uh, Masturbation, <laughs> which is all this is. It's for Moloch. The M is a three put sideways because it was a stylized, tribalized well, M. It's a sigma. It it's not really a three put sideways. Atlanta, the Super Bowl took place on the third, okay. right? Uh, out, outside are three pyramids. Okay. Right. Right. Um, well, if you look for threes of things, <laughs> you know, if you just, you know, if you just pick threes out, then it's important. Yeah. If you look for twos of things, right. you'll find that with lots of couples yeah. that, you know, <laughs> for example, <laughs> just, <laughs> well, if you look for ones of things, you'll find, oh my God, it's like everywhere. ones everywhere. <laughs> there's one. <laughs> Where are we at here? Um, in the beginning, it, it, it opened up with three meteors coming down. Boom, boom, boom. So it's three. The M itself has three peaks on it. So th No, an M has two peaks. <laughs> I want to I I I crush your dreams here, but an M, an M has three. Doesn't it? Doesn't. That's a W, you stupid fuck. Doesn't have three peaks. <laughs> he's he's I'm looking, looking. <laughs> he's looking for a mountain. He's like, no, which one is it? It's like the one that looks like an M. Oh, the one with three peaks, and they just slap him. <laughs> <laughs> no, asshole. The one with two peaks, oh like an M. <laughs> fuck. Oh, and a woman's got three yeah. boobs, you know. <laughs> I watched Total Recall a I lot. It a lot. Three was being highlighted, and three, of course, was the Blue Lodge of, of Masonry. Masonry. Yeah. The fellow craft mason and the master mason. So right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of threes there. Um, and but, even some twos I counted up, though, rounded. Oh, my God. Who you can <laughs> Holy shit. Who would give a fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! I love this. I love thing. that these guys are earnestly like head down, like wondering what they, what kind notes. of symbolism they can drag out. But then I saw as the crowd, the kids, and they were kids, rushed the field. You know, they usher them in there. They picked who's going to be in there. They were between the yeah. Those are all actors. <laughs> that's, who, that's who rushes in. <laughs> two M's, right? It went like that, and they were between the two M's. Two and M's. The, now there's six peaks. Six. Oh, wait. <laughs> Or four. <laughs> four to six peaks. But then we turned them upside down and there were W's. And those did have three. And it was like a whole thing. Put up like fire. And it burned. And the whole stage. Did. That's what, well, fire, that's what does. fire does. That's, that's, that's what fire. fire's whole thing. That kind of is. Doesn't like really have a use other than that. <laughs> that's a defining feature. Yeah, exactly, actually. right? Burned. And the whole stage was doused in red. It was this, this blood red color the whole time. Are you sure it wasn't? Maroon. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, there's a couple of things you're pointing out. You're like, there's an M, there's a red color. Ugh. I don't know, maybe, maybe the symbolism was they like their band name. <laughs> Can you imagine, Cecil, the shit he would shit if they got like Guar to play the halftime show? <laughs> Kills it. That'd be the best thing ever. Could you imagine the Guar guy just drinks blood and just spits it on the audience? He's just jerking oh. off this huge cock. Oh god, that would be the fucking greatest thing ever. His mind. Oh. He would just. Oh my god. Would it be great oh. if they did it? And he was like, too overt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe these guys. These uh, guys are fakers. Hey, a little on the nose. Okay, a little on the nose. <laughs> They need to get Gigi Allen out to do that. Do you, <laughs> do you remember that guy, Gigi no. Allen? Oh, he's the best. Gigi Allen was the dude. He would he would shit on stage and throw it at the audience. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would 
wish it was gay. I wish it was gay. Oh my god. <laughs> Did that show? <laughs> you, you look at your buddy, you're like, you're like, Jesus. I caught a poo. This show stinks. <laughs> it sounds like shit. <laughs> Oh God! Oh Jesus! Yeah, this guy's fucking head would explode. Time, <laughs> and then there's a shot on TV where the kids' hands are going back and forth while he's singing, and they're blood red in color because they had the blood red lights coming up on those hands out of the blackness. And I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is obviously we don't have time. Super Bowl are all rituals, but I see an altar. Well, okay, so what what the fuck were they trying to do with that? Yeah. Like, if it's a ritual, because it certainly didn't save the game from being boring, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck were they wishing on? I, like, what the fuck yeah. could you possibly be doing? Well, I mean, obviously more wishes, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> what did, dumb question. What on earth could they possibly be doing with that ritual? I mean, I guess in their mind, they would be like, oh, they're trying to influence people. But like me, I like, as soon as they started singing... I was looking at my phone and then I was like, oh, I could get a bowl of cereal. And then like I left, <laughs> I just like, like the guy was singing and I come back and he's all tatted up and he's got his shirt off. And I was like, Jesus, this guy isn't done yet. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah. There's a lot of people who heard this guy sing. And I was like, Jesus, this is not good. And what? they did something else. They went to the bathroom. Like why, why do a ritual? If you're trying to influence people's minds, why do it when they're, it's the best time for them to fill up their nachos, <laughs> right? Like it's the best time for me to go and get a, a dipping sauce <laughs> for my Buffalo tenders or whatever. Right. Do it. And you know, why do a ritual then? Well, I guess I, I, I have literally no idea. I is would be my answer. They, right. You're gonna they do a ritual and then all right, let's say it was successful. Well, shouldn't I have seen some change? Did like all the things like so nothing has changed that I didn't know any of these things were happening. Right, right. Yeah. That's how so much nothing has changed. Yeah. I don't get, I don't get what these and that's and this is something again, this is again calling call back to what we were just talking about with the other story where they're talking about the Super Bowl. These big cultural events happen and they want to convince you that they're evil. But like there there was no effect, right? right? There's nothing affected by it. What's the effect of this giant bloody ritual that he's talking about? What's the effect? Is it desensitizing a group of people? Because they, in order for them to be desensitized, they would have to recognize all this symbolism that you pointed into it, which nobody else recognized. Everybody else is just like, well, well, five. maybe or, we're all like hypnotized yeah. and don't know it. Like just, maybe we're going to be activated like the Manchurian candidate or oh. some shit. God, I hope not, because then I'd have to hear a Maroon 5 song again. <laughs> Here's another from episode 461, Hillbilly God ASMR, released on March 15th. This story comes from Right Wing Watch. Jim Baker says Trump has been spiritually saved so many times since so becoming many president. Times. Amazing. So, I, I got to say, I missed Jim Baker. I did It's too. been a long time. I did too. His weird little flesh colored or gray colored little microphone that sits like a fucking big wart on the side of his I was face. Say, it looks like a fucking skin tumor. It looks like a growth. I love it. Yeah. And then I he's super go. orange and his beard is weird. And like, he's just a weird dude. He does have some natty suits though. Like I like his suits. I will say the guy is a well-dressed dude, except he for when he kills it. Except for when he wears that hat. And he yeah. looks like such an old man with that hat on or right. a young rapper, like either <laughs> one. All children born and unborn are made in the holy image of God. Do you realize what strength, and we call it guts, it takes to say what that man just said? Does that take guts in a nation that's 70% Christian? In, in a world that's 50% Republican? Could you imagine? Like, what, what guts does it take? That's why the people clap. Because it wasn't like a controversial thing yeah. he said. Like, the Republicans have been, like, pro-life since there's been Republicans. That's not a surprising stand. Oh, what does the Republican have to say yeah. about abortion? <laughs> oh, I, well, I don't know. It could go either way, said nobody yeah, it's ever. Flip, it's a coin flip with oh, these geez. Republicans. Has he said anything out Who loud? Who knows? Well, he's Republican. Yeah. We yeah. have no idea how Brett Kavanaugh is going to vote on that. <laughs> Supreme Court, do we? We don't have any idea. You know, it's it's funny to me because 
he'll say, he says, it takes guts. It takes guts to say something like that, to try to, it's this rushing to be the victim. It's this got to run as fast as I can to show everybody how much of a victim I am and how much, yeah, yeah. And how much courage it takes to say this stuff because uh, it's against the majority opinion. And you're like, no, it's not. It's really not. I mean, look at all the States that have, um, laws that, that push the boundaries on Roe v. Wade all the time. There's plenty of States out there that push the boundaries on that shit. How can you be in charge because you won a popularity contest and then claim to be unpopular? I know. I know. Everybody got together yeah. and said, we really, you know what? I choo choo choose you. <laughs> 65, even, even though we didn't win the popular vote, 65 million people cho- or 62 rather 62, chose yeah, forgiving. Not 65. 65 forgiving. was a different, yep. that was a different that was candidate. The, that was what it should have won. Yeah. Uh, numerically. So, but like 62. You know, only numerically. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Only if you're counting votes. Yeah. <laughs> Start doing that. It's crazy. 62 million people all agree with you and you're like, now I know this is something you might not hear a lot. I'm probably 62 million people. <laughs> really? Like it's, I, I, it makes me feel like that sort of shit is like, well, you know, I, it's going to take some guts to stand in front of here as the most powerful person yeah, on the right, uh, right. on the country. Yeah, 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 yeah. What guts does it take? Mm-hmm. Presidents don't talk that way anymore because they have to. They do every other time. Yeah. Every other president, we go R D R D R. It's what you said. Like they all talk and, that way. And hold on, did, what did exactly? I want to hear exactly what he said again because I, I, I now I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering. Let me just play this yeah. little piece. All again. children born and unborn are made in the holy image of God. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. It is a flip because if he's saying all children born and unborn, because now you're bringing that unborn factor right. in. Although I, there are Democrats who are not for abortion. You yeah, know what I mean? Like there are Democrats, definitely yeah. pro-life but de- Democrats out there, especially from some States where there's, you know, there's some question. There's definitely some Democrats out there that are not pro-choice. Uh, you're right though, but it flip flops, right? It's always it's always a flip flop. And if it's not him, it's somebody pretty high up there is going to be saying the exact same thing, right? Whether or not you're sitting on the big, big, big high chair or the big, big high chair, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like Congress has been pretty split down the middle for a long time, and the entire right side of the aisle is like, yeah, that's something we say all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's a standard talking point. Say what that man just said. Mm-hmm. Presidents don't talk that way anymore because they have to appease everybody. Right. So no, no, they don't. Oh, oh no, they don't. What are you talking about? Shit. You could play a tape of the current nominee who was a nominee at the time talking about sexually assaulting someone and they like it when you do it. Yeah, right. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. So don't start telling me that you can't, like, give me a fucking break right now. Well, I mean, like, you just have to go back to the last Republican president. Like, George W. Bush talked that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, George W. Bush was a born-again Christian yeah. who brought that Christian worldview into many, many, many of his speeches. He Absolutely. spoke like this all the time. Absolutely. Then, after that, we had a different president who was a Democrat who, you're right, did not speak yeah. like that. Yeah. Then we got you guys back, and now you speak like that. There's nothing... Like, there's literally nothing surprising about yeah. this. It's just your turn to yeah, speak it's, Yeah, like it's just this. your turn. Yeah. Cold. But he wants to please... God. Yes. 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 Now, here's one thing I'm going to say about the president. You know, he's not perfect. None of us are perfect. (laughs) (laughs) I love love how they have to couch this shit so much. They have to be like, he's not. Don't get crazy. He's not perfect. And when as soon as I say he's not perfect, that allows me to dismiss all of his many, 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 many flaws. Many flaws. Yeah. And then his many, 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 many peccadilloes. Like, yeah. he's the worst. And like, they can't even talk about him without addressing how bad he I is know. Every time, It's every time, too. It's like, can you imagine if you were like, uh, here's my wife. Now she's, you know, not quite perfect. You know, and like, you don't do that. Yeah. Nobody yeah. does that. Yeah. Unless you're like, I'm kind of embarrassed to exactly. be seen with right, you. Right, right. Yeah. Right, you don't say like, "Oh gosh, yeah, she's a uh, her hair is real stringy." Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, uh, right, <laughs> you know, I mean, like everybody drinks sometimes, so like, <laughs> okay, she so. is a bit gassy most of the time. 
<laughs> uh, we keep she the- doesn't digest well, so look. Sweet as can be. We keep the feedback on so oh, she doesn't oh, get her hands dirty. Oh, it's, so, it's fine. It's fine. It's I mean, so for fuck's fuck sake, like you don't say uh, mean yeah, shit. I would never say that about somebody's wife while they were standing there. <laughs> no, not never. that size. No. <laughs> Take a swing at you. Not get it next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but he is being taught and mentored. And prayed with more than probably any president in the history of the. I'm sorry, but I love too that like he's always this work in progress. <laughs> I know. He's like, <laughs> they, like they praise this guy as yeah. being shitty but getting yeah, better. Yeah, he's always getting better. He's like, he's like got the two week coin from AA. Right. <laughs> like, he's like he's <laughs> off the booze. <laughs> off the booze for two weeks. He's still real good, man. How was he in bed? Well, just I mean, it was awful, yeah. really. But I think, but he could yeah. get a little yeah. bad. Ba- okay, he stopped. Mm. He stopped. I stopped him. I smacked him on the head while he was humming while he yeah. was eating. He so <laughs> he was singing his words. <laughs> he was singing the ABCs while he did it. Oh, it's God. so funny. Like these guys are the sycophants, and even the sycophants are like, okay, he's really bad. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Although I got to say, though, of the people to sing this song, Uh this is the this is exactly his song. Right. So like everybody has problems once in a while, (laughs) you, you know, might embezzle some money or something, you know, like like this is the perfect guy to say some shit like this. Right. United States of America. That's right. When he flies, he has pastors with him when he's in the white house he has pastors with him he should just you know what he should just do is just train them to be a secret service so you just have a big chunky ass pastor his, his secret service it'd be great because that's a great bullet shit yeah, right you know what i mean like if they jump the problem is the leap is tough but the no when they get in front of you like they could have like an ak be like dugga, 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 dugga. You're, like, you're fine man i have to three yeah. clips in that behind this mountain i'm good i was thinking the same thing was like yeah, he's got these pastors like, well, yeah, he's because he's using you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you're too right. stupid, right. like, to recognize your complicity or you're just happy to yeah. be used, <laughs> you human condom. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're just a fucking walking reservoir uh, tip. It's- <laughs> I have. I personally know people who have led him to Christ. Yeah, he's. Been- Wait, I like that he, he didn't do it personally. <laughs> no, he didn't. I got. I personally I have a girlfriend in Niagara yeah. Falls who once prayed with him. <laughs> I love too that they're just like they led him to Christ. Like he's like some sort of horse. Like he's yeah, a, right. He's an obstinate burro. You know, well, <laughs> you can lead a Christ yeah. to water, but you can't make him crucify. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> been saved so many times. <laughs> I love it. Oh. That, I, I'll tell you what, I, if it counts, he's got more numbers than anybody I know of. That's, that is a religious thing. That is something that's going to wash over us. Yeah. Guaranteed. Okay. That is, because I can't, I have no idea what that means. And I don't think it's a misspeak. I think that's oh. one of those like religious inside jokes that like non-religious people wouldn't know. Oh, I, really? I think so. And I will, I will ask the audience, if you're a religious, if that means anything to you, he has more numbers than anyone. I don't. Literally don't know what that means, other than it sounds asinine or it sounds like he's having a stroke. <laughs> if, if it's if it if it, it does blood pressure, but I do think that this is one of those things that like this will always wash over us because yeah. we're not religious. I was just saying the only number I know that he has more than me is his cholesterol, yeah. count, right? <laughs> his weight. Right? <laughs> it's, yeah. Should you have to? I, this is a General question thickness. too to our religious people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have to get saved more than once? Like how? Yeah. Fucking bad does it have to be that your saving didn't take, yeah. right? Where you're like, well, I'm going to need another one of those. Yeah, I mean, it was like... Saturday was weird. Is it like sanding plaster off a wall? <laughs> like, it needs to be done a couple of times to make sure it's smooth? Like... Are we down to the wood grain? Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> you're changing the grit of the paper. <laughs> you're just like, no, it's just not working. The pastor's like, save him. Oh, God, he's still him. Yeah. Save him again. <laughs> no. <laughs> just wash him up. Yeah. They keep on dipping him Duncan. in water. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's displacing yeah. all the Holy Spirit everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. And I'm serious. I'm serious. And I could name the people who prayed with him. Yeah. And he. But I won't because that keeps the mystery alive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's one of the divine mysteries. You'll never get to know these things. Honors God. Yeah. He lets them 
preachers come in and lay hands on him. In the Oval Office. That's right. And they... <laughs> yeah. I love that lady so much. <laughs> Where he had it done. I love that lady. They She's the best. him there. Oh, she is the best. Show me in the Oval Office where the preachers <laughs> touched you. <laughs> Show me where you fisted the Oval Office. <laughs> do you do not know James Robinson like I know James Robinson. Wow. He doesn't stop. He won't stop. Mm -hmm. What he if James Robinson was watching this show? Would he be insulted by yeah. that comment? Like, <laughs> oh, no, actually, you know me pretty fucking yeah. well. Like, sometimes you'll finish my sentences for me. <laughs> oh, no, that's a fair statement. No, yeah, like your wife. Yeah. You finish those for her. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. He has no fear. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, and he is one. He's like a pit bull. That's he's like a human pit bull. <laughs> Doesn't have any. He's like a human crocodile. <laughs> Doesn't have any fear. And he opens his mouth up really wide when he eats. He's like, oh, oh, oh. I feel like anybody without fear is a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like yeah. it's like, oh, he's got no fear. Yeah. All right. What is he a Marine? All this <laughs> the Marines are going to kick my ass. Uh, one day, Tom, well, you're going to run into the wrong I Marine. Know, right? That's for sure. Mm -hmm. And so, and he is one of them. That led the president to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's one of them. Hallelujah. But he's just one of them. But they were leading him and guiding him and preparing him, nurturing him through it all. And so... Can I, can I ask a question? So all this work needed to be done. Yeah. He wasn't right? the perfect candidate initially. Well, it doesn't even sound like he was Christian. Yeah. They all had to make him Christian. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like he was close. Well, why'd they vote for him? Yeah. Before he was Christian. Right. Why did the Christians get behind the guy that's like, well, maybe he'll be Christian later. Yeah. Let's give it hell. Exactly. <laughs> it's like buying the, the you these guys are buying the worst house on the block and fixing it up. <laughs> and that's not how you go about presidencies, right? right? <laughs> that's how you flip houses. That's not how you go about presidencies at all. What's that show? Like flip it or keep it or whatever? Yeah. Like, yeah, love it or leave it. Yeah, love leave it or it, leave it. it. Yeah, leave it. <laughs> love it or flip it or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> flip it or fuck it. Flip it, or <laughs> flip it over and fuck it. It's one of those things. <laughs> so, there is a Daniel's company yes. and it's so big. This is probably one of the basic reasons why there's miracles coming out of the White House Amen. and why there's Amen. a miracle in America. He says miracle With, like he's going to say miracle when. Miracle in America? <laughs> I think there's America in America, but not a miracle in America. I think he's mis is he mispronouncing? Um, is he saying a miracle? And he's thinking he's saying America like when people say warsh. Is it yeah. like a mispronunciation? What if there was like a miracle meerkat in America? Like <laughs> you got to hold your tongue while you say that. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it should be a great encouragement. To and that's why the world friends. hates him. It should be a great encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's job is to just bring the room down. It should be a great encouragement to everyone. <laughs> Does this thing with his teeth and his face and just he like, speaks like a bulldog really chewing does. on peanut butter. He sounds like he sounds like when you when you put dubstep and you turn down all the treble. <laughs> it's <just> like <laughs> I love too that like Jim Baker's all like Peppy Peppa and yeah. the guy's like <laughs> like could you like what did you just wake him up? Miracle in America. Yes. Yeah, it should be a great encouragement. To and that's why the world praying. hates him, right? Yeah. Yes. They hate him. Yes. The church needs to rise up. The Daniel yeah. Company, I believe that's the success of Donald Trump is going to be credited to the intercessors, to the prophets, to this Daniel Company. And again, it's in every sphere of society. I really believe God is breathing on. He pronounces everything weird. He really does. It's in every sphere it's of every society. Sphere of society. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to rip his face off and be a fucking <laughs> David Icke lizard person. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I'm watching the end of V right now. Yeah, he sounds like a, something like, like, a, like a translator, you know? Sphere of society. I really believe God is breathing on Mike Pence. I was watching. Ew, what? <laughs> well, hey, I, I, like, I like breathing on him while I'm rubbing one out. So <laughs> that's what I do. I just get up all close up on him. Like, you like this, Mike Pence? Do you like this? Do you like it when I touch myself? <laughs> Heath is busy masturbating the fucking ASMR God, like breathing on a Mike ASMR Pence. ASMR <laughs> hillbilly God. <laughs> Do you like this guy? <laughs> Do you like it when I touch you, my baby? I touch you. Hey, <laughs> Sam Mark. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta let my hound down. Oh, it's amazing. Your bush is beautiful. <laughs> I'm 
fire. I love people who look like villains from a Bond movie. <laughs> you got a burning bush. <laughs> He does look like a, a blonde Bond villain, though, doesn't he? Mike like, Pence? Yeah, like White Finger or something. Yeah, Mike Pence always looks yeah. like bored yeah. and surprised yeah. at the same time. I said finger. He's not going to finger anybody. No. Who am I kidding? Mother, yeah. come yeah. over here. Mother, get yourself wet for me. <laughs> <laughs> Go in the bathroom and do your thing. <laughs> come out. Dirty, yeah. sinful thing you do in there. <laughs> Watching him closely at the State of the Union address, I even believe that there's a possibility that Donald Trump is paving the way for an even more conservative 2024 Mike Prent yeah. Pence run. Wow. I would not. Oh, my. Yeah. I think he's paving the way for Mike Pence in the sense that he may be impeached. Yeah. Which will be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's the best way to do it. He's landing this fucking plane. Yeah, right? That's like, what he's doing. I love too that they're like yeah. so excited about the current president that they're like, and maybe we'll get somebody else <laughs> later, guys. Maybe we'll get another person who we don't have to pray over <laughs> constantly because he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> The past is like, <laughs> I got five years so I can take a vacation. Jesus. Five years. Uh, How many times do we have to God. save you? Saving you every uh, hour on the hour. Mike Pence. A Mike Pence presidency is a fucking nightmare, though. No, like, that's, oh, not, that's, that's not a, a world I'll live that's in. That's a nightmare. That's I, a, yeah, yeah, I'm checking out, too. Well, no, I mean, I will all die. I'm that's, just, like, that's fine. I'm just going to go. Hopefully, they didn't put that wall up so I could scale that fucker to get to Mexico. Yeah, I'm not living in the Republic yeah. of Gilead. Oh, like, that's God. not going <laughs> to fucking happen. <laughs> That's no, so true. Uh -uh. no, we aren't oh, doing that. Terrifying. I'd be surprised if God gave us a trumpet and then a double trumpet in 2000. You can't even do a double trumpet in Indiana because of Mike Pence. <laughs> what are you kidding me? You're not allowed to do that there anymore. That's like on the books. Like no double trumpets. Put your trumpets away. What are you kidding me? 24. Wow. Just things that I've been sensing inside of me. <laughs> I've been sensing that I'm very hungry too. <laughs> He's so weird. He's such a sensing inside, inside of me. me. <laughs> this guy is like, oh, I, I love, love this guy. <laughs> I can sense you inside of me. Such now. a weird story. I'm the not whole weird. Thing, You're weird. The whole thing is weird, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. This clip comes from episode 465, Purple Rain, released on April 15th. Cecil. Yeah. Nope. I was just going to ask if you if you get, finally got rid of that windmill cancer or if you still have Yeah, it. you know, I was I I like it is mm. the thing. Like I like the windmill cancer like it just kind of rotates around, finds the right home. It actually powers me. Is, yeah. Is Mine's in transmission. So <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> How long have you been holding that one? I just thought of it. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if I No, I did. I did. I did. All right. Because it's terrible. So it's not good. So <laughs> I didn't think of it at a time. You know, with those those windmills, the nice thing about them is you can outfit the top of the windmill with a 5G or even 6G <laughs> cell phone tower. Six. Look, can we just go up to infinite Gs? Hey, I'll tell you what. Yeah. 100 Gs. 100 Gs. I'm very rich. 100 Gs means nothing to me. I don't even care about 100 Gs. What is a G again? <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about what a G is? You know, our president's uh, a fucking buffoon. Oh, it's so sad. He's a but you know, no collusion. So there's that. Well, I mean, uh, redactions, though. Lots of, possibly. We don't know still. Yeah, well, still. About they, the redaction yeah, situation. He, did he, he met with the the Congress, didn't he? Uh, Barr? Barr? Yeah. Uh, I know they called him to testify. I don't know if he has testified yet. I don't think yeah. any public testimony has been Yeah, no, no public testimony then. Because that would be all over if it was. Yeah, I, I, I mean, and I believe the redactions like they had to get a new uh shipment of sharpies yeah because they kept every the thing is like everybody's getting high like uh, the, the amount of redaction fucking contact there's, high there's like one guy in the back like huffing white out <laughs> he's just huffing the completed report are you kidding me he fans the the pages in front of his fucking nose and he's fucking seeing pink elephants. These, these pages are stuck together with white stuff. Why is that? I find them exciting. Yeah. I thought this was a Ken Starr report. <laughs> I thought it was a Ken Starr report. I used to know a guy when I was in high school. Please tell me he jerked off to the Ken Starr report. He <laughs> didn't. He used to come up to me and he'd be like, he was a super stoner. Like he was fucking Spricoli from the past <laughs> times at Ridgemont High. And he'd come up to me and he'd be like, Cecil, man, Cecil. And I'd be like, hey, buddy, what's up? And I literally don't even remember his name. I just tried to think of it. I tried to think of it on the fly. I was like, what was that guy's Wait name? I don't remember. Can I guess? 
Uh, it wasn't Buddy. Yeah, it could have been. Champ. Could have been Champ. Tiger. Maybe Tiger. Chief. I don't know. Big guy. Sport. <laughs> <laughs> Wastoid. <laughs> he'd come up to me and he'd be like, hey, man, feel my hands. And I'd be like, what? And he's like, my hands are so cold, man. I've been huffing white out all <laughs> hour. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably dead now. <laughs> He's just sitting with a bag of whiteout and huffing in class. He just huff whiteout in class. I went to a really selective school. <laughs> you know that guy's just taking shots so he could smell the glue. You know, <laughs> you catch him later. He's doing shots of whiteout. Like, oh my god, I love guys like that because, like. The whole purpose at a young age of getting high is to tell everybody that you have gotten high. Yeah, that's exactly like, it. Yeah, that's the yeah. reason it's you get high or drunk story. when you're young. Yeah. You're like, I have drank so many drinks of drinking. <laughs> Do you see the beverage? Look, I, what I did is I didn't throw any of them away so I could show you. Yeah, right. Over I'm here, a- my cascade of alcoholism. Right? Isn't that so true? Like when you yeah. go to like the college dorm and there's like a whole wall of beer cans. It's like, guys, I drink too, guys. Yeah. It's like you might as well have a wall of panties too. You know? <laughs> These are the things I'm bragging about. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me know in 10 years uh, how you feel about bragging about yeah. this. I'm going to guess. Not so good. Tell me how the cirrhosis is. Right. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Like, I'm so high. I got high to tell you about how high I got. <laughs> oh my God. What you got was boring. What you got was fucking boring. Yeah, but feel my hands though. Yeah. Oh, uh, look. Parts of my body don't work good anymore. I know, right? Like, isn't that amazing? This can't be good. Yeah, right. <laughs> Feel my heart. It's stuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We've pulled this piece from episode 476, Non-Concentration Camps, released on July 1st. The story is also from Right Wing Watch. This is Big League Politics Patrick Howley says... <laughs> This I'm is, trying to get the face slap on on the mic so we could just be like, it's my me slapping my own face like, yeah, that sounded good, actually. <laughs> Do it again. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's, my it's wife's going to wonder why I have a mark. <laughs> <laughs> I know she won't. Uh, uh, but Big League Politics Patrick Howley says, it's very clear that Hillary Clinton is a Satanist. Uh, Hillary Clinton, by the way, in case you were wondering, not the president also, why are we still talking about this? Is Hillary running this time? I, <laughs> <laughs> was she in the far, far back of all the debates? Been like, hey, guys! <laughs> right. she, okay, so Patrick Howley has uh, got Ann Vander Steel. I, 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 I think he's on. Oh, he's on. He's her on show. the Steel Truth. The steel Truth. <laughs> what does that mean? Steel. Yeah. Truth. Steel. This truth is. Metallic. I will hard. say she has the fucking most fucking butch fucking logo I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. There is a religion called Satanism and the, that religion, which practices witchcraft. Bel- Isn't that Wiccan? I don't know. I love, I love these guys. They're like, okay, so Satanism practices witchcraft. Witches practice Satanism practice which fuck oh I'm stuck in a circle I'm stuck in another circle no wait it's a pentagram I'm yeah. stuck in a pentagram <laughs> someone, oh god I can't get out so around me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love these guys too because like they you know when they're talking about first off they're they have this idea that there's a Satanism right that and the yeah. Satanism isn't just we're gonna build a big dumb statue to make you feel stupid. Like that's <laughs> right. not that's it's not that Satanism. Right. It's like we really genuinely worship the devil, and we're gonna be like, ah, I'm gonna fucking sacrifice a fucking goat or whatever you're gonna right. do. Leaves due to the teachings of Aleister Crowley that their spells and their summoning of demons. Couple weeks in uh maybe three weeks in Citation Needed, we're gonna be doing Aleister Crowley. It's gonna be good. Yeah, a couple three. Uh, we haven't recorded it yet, so from hell is enhanced by child molestation and child sacrifice and human sacrifice, but especially of children. And that is a fact. Yeah, that's, wait, child that's, sacrifice that's especially of children? I mean, can it be a tween sacrifice? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the spells are enhanced? Like, is it required? Like, how do you enhance getting a demon? I don't know. You, yeah, do you get like a bigger one? He's like, shows up, he's kissing his right. muscles. Just, <laughs> like, which way to the gun show? <laughs> <laughs> you just get like some fucking puss ass demon because you didn't fuck a kid. <laughs> demon shows up and it's like all like weak. And she's like, like a it's Ted, Ted Cruz, Cruz demon. demon. Like, oh, I'm here to do your bidding. It's not as warm up here. Do you have a rap? <laughs> 
I brought some fleece slippers <laughs> for me to put my... I'll make your bed. That's about all I can do. I'm just like a bed demon. I'm a little parched. If you bring me some water, I'll wet their bed for them. <laughs> it's like an annoyance demon. It just, it just like makes your glass of water a little warm. Yeah, it, just, <laughs> it just like every time you cough, you get like that like dust tickle in yeah, the back exactly. of your throat. You're like, oh, fuck. Oh, I so, so summon an annoyance. That ah. was me. Ah, I hate that feel. Just... Takes so long to go away. Uh, 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 uh. He like makes the inside of your car, your car windows fog up when you drive, <laughs> so you can't get them undone. And then he makes the outside fog up at the same time, so your defrosters don't work, and you got to keep your wipers running on a like summer night in in the middle of fucking Chicago because the Chicago can't figure out what temperature, what temperature it is. It is. Yeah. He makes sure like a really big person sits next to you on the airplane. It's just like oh god, international and everything. He said, that's your thermostat so it goes up four degrees after you go to sleep <laughs> and you wake up with the covers on the ground and be like, why is it so hot in here? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> he's like the whammy from like, you know, like yeah, the whammy the from like, yeah. he's like, it's just a little annoying. Just, God. Yeah. It's just a little annoying. Like run out of paper, yeah. like one page from printing that document. Just like, oh, get just fucking one page. Could have set this whole thing to print on both sides. I didn't even know. Close the passport office five minutes early. <laughs> Here's another from episode 482, Uplifting Tragedies, released on August 12th. Tom, you explained lunch debts to me earlier because I didn't understand what they were. What is a lunch debt? So I guess uh, when you go buy lunch at school now, you don't bring money. You just have an account. Every so kid when we were account. a kid, when we were kids, yep. mom and dad used to have to give us money every day. Right. Or you were on, and this was for was me. me. I was on the lunch program. Yeah, for me, I was on the program right. that was... Um, that was that was the free program, right? So I was on the one that the the school provided, right? So I know that there was other people. I was who, on that too. You yeah. got a ticket, yeah. Like I got it. I remember you got it. You get to the lunch sure. office and you got five tickets for that week, and those yeah. are your five. Those lunch are your five tickets. Yeah. Tickets. There was. I also went to a school where there was an a la carte line where you could just go buy whatever you wanted, right? And there was, you know, you could spend whatever you wanted on lunch every day. And there was an a la carte line where you would walk through and pay for things, and you know they had pizza in there and other stuff. When you were on the the, the meal line, like the one that was a free line, you didn't get anything except for what was the main meal of right. the day. And when I was uh, when I was a very young kid, uh, for all of elementary and middle school, for me. Um, I went to a school that did not have hot lunches. So everyone had to bring hot, like their own lunch to school. Right. And so I used to get a bagged lunch every day from the, the school. I would walk in and just get them. They, a, they would lunch. give me a bagged lunch. And I genuinely would only eat the cookie. Like I would throw the rest of it Bad. away. Because it was like all like summer sausage and stuff I didn't like. And they put a bunch of goop Stable on the stuff. sandwich, on the stuff. And I'd be like, I don't want it. I would give it away. Everybody, every day I would give it away to another poor kid. I would be like, I'd come to the table and they'd be like, hey, you gonna eat your sandwich? Nope. Here you go, kid. Yeah. And so I'd eat the cookie and I'd drink the milk and I'd maybe eat the apple if there was an apple in there. And that was the, that was what I do every single day. I'm always a red delicious apple. Yeah. I know the it's worst. Always a red. And that's the worst apple. It's, that's the most egregious you. apple. Can we have a quick talk about yes, apples? Yes, absolutely. Can we digress yes, let's into talk, apples? Let's digress into apples. I'm sure the audience wants to, us to digress at this point. Who the fuck wants a red delicious? Nobody. What, what fucking dire circumstances have caused anybody? Thick skinned. Right, yep. so they're thick skin. That when you bite into them, you tear your gums up. That's number one. Two, the skin is bitter. Like the skin is actually kind of bitter on those apples. Yep. the 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 inside is mealy and unappealing and not sweet or tart. Somehow, yeah, it's just, it's like, just a like a water food. Yes, it it's like it's like it it's like eating a saran wrapped water chestnut. Yep. It's a useless food. It's like <laughs> there's no reason to ever put one in your mouth, and they're uncookable too. You can just, what you, are you, they for? They're for throwing at people. <laughs> or bobbing. Those there, are your two options. You could bob for it or throw it at someone. I don't understand why that's always the shitty apple that you give away. Like, like where at? Because nobody I've ever met buys that no, themselves. No. There's so many great apples. Oh. Like, apples are an amazing fruit with dozens and dozens of amazing varieties. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. And an apple. Fuck, it's this goddamn fucking I won't leather even, wrapped thing. I won't even eat them anymore. No. Like if it's turned out, I'll be like, no, that I will not eat that. I'm sorry, that's not a food. Somebody was telling me once like, oh, but if you get them and they're like perfect and no, they're fresh. No, they're not. Then get the fuck You're out You're a of fucking here. liar. They have the You're, 
You're with the Apple lobby, aren't you? <laughs> You're with Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> Big delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a that's a horrible. horrible. What's your favorite app? Favorite Apple is a toss up between I got three. All right. Uh Gala, Brayburn, Pink Lady. I think okay, those right. are those are really solid apples. Fiji's I, good too. Fiji Apple. Yep, yeah, but you know, like Fiji's can sometimes be mealy. Yeah. Like you can get- It's so not great. Yeah. The hit or miss yeah. quality of the Fiji yeah. like is like, oh, but what if it's missed? Yeah. Like Brayburn's an excellent sad. apple. Yeah. I like the pink lady. Pink the pink ladies, Crips is also Pink good. lady's an excellent apple. Jazz apples are fucking money in the bank. I like jazz, jazz apples. Jazz, I'll have to look it up. I don't know that I've had one. That's a that's a fucking solid yeah. apple. Yeah. And I'm right there with the Gala, man. The Gala that's is a terrific it's a, apple. It's an excellent apple. That's a great an, apple. I, and it looks similar to a Red Delicious. It just happens to taste delicious. It's just delicious. It's just good. It's just a yeah. good apple. Um, when it comes to to uh I'm not a really a big green apple guy. No. It's not for me. Like for eating it. Yeah. I'm talking about eating apples, yeah, not I, baking apples. Now, right don't now. get me wrong. If you take one of those and you dip it in caramel and then nuts and make an affy tapple out of it, <laughs> I will fuck that thing. Are you kidding me? This clip comes from episode 486, Shadesel, released on September 9th. This is more of a Pence thing. Pence stayed at his estate like three hours away from all the appointments and things that he had to do. And he flew to those appointments in a clear, a clear money grab for Trump for the estate thing that he was doing. I got to talk about that one. Like what I love about that story is that like one hotel reservation mattered that much. Yeah, right. Like you, like you own this chain of hotels. Yeah, I know. International hotels, you're like, all right, I'm, 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 it's end of the month. I'm near yeah. my quota. Yeah. I'm going to need to fill that yeah. uh, double occupancy king room. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can bring mother yeah. or whatever. And it's, not, it's not just that. It's like his whole staff too right. is yeah. there. Right. And it's like, it's, it's not just one room. It's, it's dozens of rooms right. that are being filled at a very expensive hotel. Yeah. This isn't right. a cheap hotel. This isn't like, this isn't the budget in. No, this is a this Trump is, property. This They're is expensive. A, it's a five star right. hotel. With bed bugs. It's a, it's a <laughs> five. Yeah, his hotels, there's been a lot of stuff coming out about it. Supposedly, yeah. Gross. Yeah, supposedly gross. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. bed bugs and like sewage in the pool and like all this like <laughs> Jesus Christ. nasty How shit. How disgusting would that be? You dive in and you get a baby Ruth in your mouth. And you come up. <laughs> You're just like, that's not a baby Ruth. Like, oh, oh. like this isn't the Chicago River. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> God, that would be so bad. I mean, you already pee in the pool, so it's not. <laughs> I mean, there's already like number one in there. It's just this, there's number two in there. It's bad. Do you ever, you ever, you ever been at the pool and somebody shat in the pool? No. So my dad and I oh, went on this fishing trip. Hell? Yeah. So my dad and I went on this fishing trip and like, it, we, we, so we drove up to Canada and we broke the trip up into two pieces. Right. And so, you know, it's a long drive and like my dad's an older guy. And so we wanted to like find a hotel that had a pool with like a hot tub so he could like sit and soak his bones or whatever. Sure. And so like, uh, we go and there's a pool and I jump in the pool first. My dad's over in the hot tub. And then all of a sudden I look up and everybody is like piecing out of the pool. And like some kid like deuced the pool. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, oh I'm still in the pool. Oh, oh God. Oh, like, oh, like, it's, God. Like a, it's like a fucking panic oh, in the God. disco moment. Oh, You're just like, oh my God. You're like banging on the side trying to get out. You can't get out. And, <laughs> and the turd's slowly <laughs> floating towards you. And you're like, no. oh God, oh God, get the chopper. Call the chopper. <laughs> and it's making the, the jaws sound. The da 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 it happened at, a, at another Deuce public pool. pool. Yeah, it's a, this was at a hotel. Oh, Jesus. And so it's like, well, now, okay, fucking that's foul as shit. Literally. Yeah, yeah. And then it happened at like a great big public pool. And the same thing, like everybody's got to get out. Pool, huh? And they got to like drain it and like How does it, nuke it from orbit oh, or whatever gosh. they have to do. Because trunks are tight, right? Like they right. normally have like a little thing on, like in a between, mesh? like a mesh that sort of, sort of attaches to you. So I wonder if that like cheese grates the poo. <laughs> 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 it's like through cheese cloth. It's like strained or, out. It, it's like a crescent moon. It comes <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, it's like spatzel. It's, it's pressed <laughs> through like spatzel. <laughs> Shatzel. <laughs> uh, 
this so stuff, fun. This stuff has its own demi glass. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's like that old oh, that God. old dog commercial with the the gravy where you put the, you put the, oh. the you put the the thing in there the the dry food and uh-huh. you pour the the water over what it, it turns that into called? gravy. Gravy train. Gravy train. Gravy train. I remember those commercials where the dog train. would chase around the little like <laughs> animated. Dude, that's what was in your pool was the gravy train. <laughs> and somebody just added water. <laughs> That is seeping out. I swear to God, if that was one of my kids, oh. I'd just I'd just be like, cool, toss the kid in the pool <laughs> you just, and leave. You just throw the kid into the suction part right. for the thing. Just, boom, boom. He's in the filter now. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, That's no. not mine anymore. You I just the pool. I disowned it. I'm out. I disowned like, it. This one comes from episode 490, Snake News, released on October 7th. Christian school principal sends newsletter saying Greta Thunberg has mental problems. I love this part. This is why I included the story accuses her of promoting Doomsday Waffle Talk. Doomsday Waffle Talk sounds kind of amazing, to be honest. That's the best yeah. band name yeah. ever. <laughs> we are Doomsday <laughs> Waffle Talk. <laughs> like, I would see that band every day. Every day I would see Doomsday Waffle Talk. Yeah, there's an IHOP joke in here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but there's an IHOP joke in there somewhere. I, I, like, I, I just imagine like, like the end of like Ghostbusters where you're like, I try to think of something. <laughs> A waffle. I thought of I thought of a doomsday waffle. There's just like a waffle, One like an waffle eggle, like rolling is, down. Or it's just a waffle with like really thin <laughs> arms and legs, and it's just dancing. You know, I can't support my own <laughs> weight. I'm falling over. <laughs> and it just it just hits a building and just kind of leans. <sighs> Somebody help me. <laughs> It's crying syrup because it can't get. Help me! I can't move! <laughs> oh man, we need to redo it. Uh, you know what I love about this uh, too is like, like all the fucking religious people right now, Tom, yeah. all the crazy evangelicals are just like, you can't talk about doomsday. I talk I about doomsday. <laughs> you can't do it. We do it every week in the pews. Right. You're not allowed. It's not your doomsday. It's my doomsday. Yeah. Because like this guy says, like, I think what you're getting at, it says like, my life experience has taught me that the doomsday predictors are just attention getters. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Jim Baker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The book of Revelation. Yeah, no kidding. Well, it's yeah. in your one sixteenth of your book or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Here's one from episode 495. Fat Beats, released on November 4th. <laughs> this story I just grabbed because <laughs> I love this story. This is amazing. It, it, it only barely fits the show. I know, show, it's amazing. But it's so, so fucking good. great. So good. All right, so this is from people.com. Man, <laughs> I love this so much. Man wearing Jesus saves bib collapses during race. Is given CPR by a by a man named Jesus. Jesus, yes, I love it. Guys running a ten mile race. This is yeah. exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Guys running a ten mile race has a fucking cardiac event. He's wearing the Jesus saves bib, and some dude named Jesus <laughs> rolls up and saves him. And it's fucking amazing. It's so good. It reminds me of the meme where it's like everybody <laughs> thank Jesus for the food, and it's one guy in a field. He's yeah. like, "You're welcome." <laughs> It's the guy, like, it's like one Mexican guy in a field, like, gracias, or de oh. not, or something. <laughs> so fucking awesome. Uh, it's irony week in the news, though. Did you happen to see the story this week um, where, and this, again, it's, it's only tangentially related to the show, but, like, on the MTA in New York, somebody saw a suspicious package, and they called in the suspicious package, and the suspicious package turned out to be a suspicious suspicious package detector. <laughs> They had like this, they had this thing uh, that was there to like help people better report suspicious packages. Right. They mislabeled it and some fucking goober left it on the train before oh, installing it. That's so amazing. So somebody saw it and was like, well, that's suspicious. They <laughs> <laughs> called it in. That's so it's so great. This is so great. It's so great. This is good. Some days it's a good timeline. Some days it's hey, this one is such a good timeline. Unlike, unlike Jesus though, yeah. this guy is real. <laughs> well, is real and also doesn't like doesn't take all the credit for himself. Like he's like, oh no, there's a bunch of people there. Right, right, I, right. I did, you know, I did a little bit, but I didn't do it all. You know, I didn't fucking like, you know, 
And so it's, it's, it was a nice, re- like to hear the way he talked was like really refreshing. He was just yeah. like, like, no, I just saw somebody down. I, you know, I'm a nurse. I ran over. I immediately flipped him over. The guy's heart stopped for like 10 seconds. And I guess, you know, if you want an authority on something being beating, then Jesus is a perfect <laughs> authority for that. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody, for listening to this 2019 year in review. Uh, thank you for sharing and subscribing and becoming patrons and supporting us and uh, watching the live streams that are going to be on Thursdays in 2020. Um, here's to uh, a bright and successful 2020 for everyone. Um, I guess every year we kind of say hopefully it's better than the last year, but this year it's going to be even Bester. Well, we're going to leave you, as always, with the Skeptic's Creed. Credulity is not a virtue. It's fortune cookie cutter, mommy issue, hypno Babylon bullshit. Couched in scientician, double bubble, toil and trouble, pseudo quasi alternative, acupunctuating, pressurized, stereogram, pyramidal, free energy, healing, water, downward spiral, brain dead pan, sales pitch, late night info docutainment. Leo Pisces, Cancer Cures, Detox, Reflex, Foot Massage, Death and Towers, Tarot Cars, Psychic Healing, Crystal Balls, Bigfoot, Yeti, Aliens, Churches, Mosques and Synagogues, Temples, Dragons, Giant Worms, Atlantis, Dolphins, Truthers, Birthers, Witches, Wizards, Vaccine Nuts, Shaman Healers, Evangelists, Conspiracy, Doublespeak, Stigmata, Nonsense. Expose your signs. Thrust your hands, bloody, evidential, conclusive. Doubt even this. The opinions and information provided on this podcast are intended for entertainment purposes only. All opinions are solely that of Glory Hole Studios, LLC. Cognitive dissonance makes no representations as to accuracy, completeness, currentness, suitability, or validity of any information, and will not be liable for any errors, damages, or butthurt arising from consumption. All information is provided on an as-is basis. No refunds. Produced in association with the local Dairy Council and viewers like you.